One of the operations that you need to learn about Vector is uh, performing the dot product. Now dot product is identified as scalar product or inner product or tensors. So these are some of the names that's associated with dot product. Now if we have two vectors, let's say u is equal to ab and vector v is x and y, to find the dot product of uv, all you have to do is to multiply a and x and add it to the product of b and y. So therefore, in our example, if we have two vectors, let's say 4, 5, and 2, 3, and we need to perform dot product for these two vectors, all we have to do is to use this formula to get our answer. So if we have vector 4, 5 times, or dot product of vector 4, 5, and 2, 3, multiply 4 and 2, multiply 5 and 3, and you'll have 8 plus 15, which gives you 23. So notice that when you perform dot product to two vectors, your answer will be a scalar or irregular number. So that's how you produce the product of two vectors performing the dot product. Now here are some of the uh, properties of dot product that we're going to use in some operations that we're going to be working on today. So we have five properties that we will use and one of them is u dot v is the same as v dot u which is similar to the commutative property and if you multiply a vector with zero it's just gonna give you zero as your answer and the rest of the properties are self-explanatory now let's have some examples I have examples here and have vectors we have vectors u v and w for vector u we have negative 1 3 for v we have 2 and negative 4 and for w we have 1 and negative 2 so to find u dot v times vector w all we have to do is to perform the dot product first and after we found our answer we're going to multiply it with w so for this first step i have negative 1 and 3 and 2 and negative 4 by dot product i will multiply negative 1 and 2 plus 3 and negative 4 and I'll end up with negative 14. So the dot product of u, v is negative 14. Then I have to multiply it with vector w which gives me 1 and negative 2. And by performing scalar multiplication, negative 14 and positive 28 will be your answer. So the answer for u dot v times w will still be a vector which is negative 14 and 28. Now for letter B, I have u dot twice of v. So in this case, I'm going to have two vectors and I'm going to perform these operations to get my answer. So first, let's simplify twice of v by scalar multiplication. So 2 times vector 2 negative 4 will give you 4 and negative 8. Now perform the dot product for u and 2v and you'll have negative 1 times 4 plus 3 times negative 8, which gives you negative 28. So the product of u dot 2v will give you a scalar, which is negative 28.